sitting in my garden having a little cup of tea and just watching the birds bird and enjoying the, the peace and the end of the day and it's been a beautiful day and um, seeing clients and connecting with people and lots and lots and lots of information coming in that that it feels important to share um, these little moments of energy awakenings so that we can stay on board because there is so much shifting right now we are really coming into um, into more and more opportunities to make um, different choices and different decisions in our life and we're not being victims of the pain anymore even though the mind body is aching and even though we are feeling the hardship um, of the experience the experience is just an opening a portal through which we can view something else it's it's a way that the mind body is signaling discomfort so we are feeling this discomfort in our emotional being in our spiritual being in our physical being and we are knowing this discomfort on very many levels so our body's getting it our mind is getting it but we're also getting it from the ones close to us that's our family and our friends and those who are really really close so close that we do not wish to throw them away However, if we signal in our bodies going, ah, can't take this anymore, do not want to put up with this drama anymore, I've had it with this, I cannot keep doing this. So we are speaking our absolute truth when we are saying, I do not want this anymore. I cannot continue to play inside of this little drama karma cycle. And of course, we've all just come out of the end of the end of year holidays and so this is when we have been richly activated because we have got this silly perception that we should all get together and we should all be jolly well we're not we're just jolly awful and um, but because we're here to activate each other and we are here to help each other get different ideas about why we are having this collective consciousness this connection so let me talk to you a little bit about what is um, coming in in the way of awareness with this whole drama karma activation that's going on. So here we are in our families and one little trigger, one little word, one little sentence, one little whatever and boom we're into this entire trigger. And from our human self and from our growing up with the other self we have all got impacted wounds impacted pain there's not one of us that gets through a whole life experience just having had perfectly beautiful lovely experiences one with another we've disappointed each other we've hurt each other we've been in our complete stupidity and especially as children we lay down a scaffolding of pain in our childhood because we didn't know, we were little, we were small, we didn't understand nuances, we didn't understand how spiteful words can hurt and harm each other. We didn't know this stuff yet. We just spoke, we blurted it out, and our little barbs of tongue and mind and our actions hurt deeply the other. And for these, we feel the sense of remorse and, and shame and, and doubt about self. And how could I be so hurtful? How can I be so mean to, to the other? But in our ignorance, we just didn't know. And we didn't know how deeply it hurt the other. We were just expressing ourselves and we had very little thought to the consequences of it. However, we are not the child anymore. But the wounds of our childhood are still there. They haven't gone away. They stay in the underlying scaffolding of our emotional content. And given one tiny little poke or one tiny little prod into that place, as the adult person, we erupt into the childlike behavior of shaming, blaming, hating each other. And instead of just getting to a point of, of seeing what it truly is and healing it, we cannot. We seem to be stuck. We, we stay in the same place of pain and the same place of activation. And year in and year out, guess what? Here comes the family. We all got good intentions of being together. Our hearts are open, full of love. And boom, 
here goes one little signal and one little pain and it ignites the whole bonfire and here we all go and we all collapse into a heap of misery and sadness and hardship. It's just completely ridiculous. We have to stop doing this. Oof. Okay, so how are we going to stop it? But first let me say this, that if we cannot change the way that we are operating in this life, if we cannot change this signal base from the mature person that we are now, from the little bit more informed and hopefully spiritually inclined or spiritually aware being that we are now, if we cannot move beyond the wound of the pain and if we cannot go, grow into compassion and kindness, acceptance, love, then how on this pretty precious earth do we think that we are going to be able to heal the planet's misery? How do we think we are going to be able to get on with one another, those who do not even belong to our family? It's never going to happen if we continue inside of the pain cycle, if we continue playing and activating in this place of pain. And the way through it is to first honor the place of pain as a child. The child was wounded. We were hard to each other. Yes, and we apologize. Yes, please accept it. Please accept those apologies and accept it not from your own little wounded child, but accept it from your gracious higher self, your light being, that truly knows that we're not here just to destroy each other, that we are here to also help each other grow. So let's grow. Let's grow and let's become these beings that are compassionate and let's love and hold each other in a whole new way. Let's recognize the wounds that are coming up as the wounds of humanity. The wounds that our human experience are feeling all around this planet. For every wound that you felt is a betrayal. You have an amazing opportunity to know what betrayal looks like in your own little scenario. And just like a ripple in a pond, if you took a healing connection to that place of pain, that betrayal, and you sent light into it, and the ripple effect would open into the space. This is how we can heal it. When you heal, you are not just healing you, you are healing consciousness. We are connected one to another in consciousness. You begin to heal consciousness. And this is the gift that truly is what we are here to bring in, not to sit in the heap of misery and torment, persecution, blame and shame and revenge and guilt and dread and all the other things. It's not the idea. Get what those signals are and choose something else. Because if we cannot choose, the choice will not come. It is only in choosing that we have a choice. So begin to see, begin to open your heart, see the whole thing from your higher self and begin to love again. May the blessing of this really truly touch your heart. We have not got any more time for silly nonsense. We have not got any more time for this. We have got to choose to thrive and quit this game of trying to survive, which is filled with all the lowest vibrational frequencies that you can imagine. So much love to you, sending you the heart and soul of courage and may you use it with great, great respect and self-honoring of you and all other beings. So much love. Namaste. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see